Hello everyone. I am going to show you our recent dive in Aruba, where we were shown a beautiful underwater world that surrounds one of the easiest to dive and beautiful shipwrecks, accessible for divers from Aruban shores, wreck of Jane Sea. We completed this dive with the help of a local dive center, Pure Diving Aruba, which is located minutes away from the wreck location. We highly recommend them for your diving in Aruba. We spent four full days diving with this amazing group of scuba divers and instructors, and we had a blast. So, here is some data on the wreck. It is surrounded by beautiful coral formations. You can see lots of fish there. A 190-foot cement freighter sitting upright on the bottom in 90 feet of water. But you can stay at 60 foot and still will be able to see 90% of it. Bow is at 60 feet, rudder and screw intact at 98 feet. Lots of life and a friendly resident moray eel on the stern deck. The maximum depth is 91 to 100 foot, 28 to 30 meters. The average visibility is 71 to 80 foot, 22 to 25 meters. This site is not visited often by dive boats as there can be a wicked current especially in November and December. But when they visit it is well worth it. So, let me tell you a few things about the history of this boat. This boat was 749 tons and 57 meters, 190 foot long cargo ship that was launched on December 30, 1959, from Westerbroke SW Shipyard in Westerbroke in the north of Holland and was named Blackthorn. The Blackthorn sailed in British waters under the UK flag and was owned by the firm S. William Co. and Company. The Blackthorn was later renamed Rudyard and in 1976 she was converted into an aggregates carrier. In 1980 the Rudyard was sold to S&D Shipping Limited in Bembridge, registered in Shoreham, UK, and renamed Jane C. Between 1980 and her sinking by local dive operators in 1988 her whereabouts were a kind of a mystery. The story is that in her final days Jane C. was owned by a Venezuelan company transporting cement between Venezuela and Aruba. It turned out that one day besides cement the Jane C. transported some other white powder also known to the general public as cocaine. As a result of this drug bust the ship was confiscated by authorities. When the owners did not reclaim the ship local dive operators took the initiative to make the vessel easily accessible for divers and scuttled it in September 1988 turning it into one of the most spectacular wrecks in Aruba. Whether it's true or not, it's hard to tell nowadays, but according to the files in the archives of the Aruba Ports Authority, APA, there was a different story. The Jane C., call sign GGCH, arrived in September 1984 in Barcadera Harbor, Aruba, carrying a load of cement from Costa Rica. She was still registered in Shoreham, UK, but now owned by Deroche Enterprises Limited. Seated in Trinidad. During berthing in Barcadera Harbor she experienced major engine trouble and shortly after she was abandoned by her entire crew. When harbor dues were not paid, an embargo was laid on the ship. When attempts to get in contact with the owner, and two attempts to auction the vessel in 1985 failed, the decision was made to lift the embargo in December 1987 and prepare the ship to become a dive object. She was scuttled on September 4, 1988 just south of Barcadera Harbor. But because every wreck deserves a bit of mystery, or its own exciting story, it's up to you guys, what story you would prefer to remember. A mysterious cocaine transport or an unlucky cement hauler. But enough of history. Let's enjoy the beautiful corals, fish and other marine life that call this wreck their home now.
Look at this huge eel that lives on this wreck now, and is usually located on the same spot every time. Thank you Pure Diving Aruba for this amazing dive, and thank you guys for being with us on this underwater adventure that we filmed for you. Safe dives and great experiences.